Hello everybody and welcome to this quick video on Myth of Empires and tonight, today actually, we're going to go through a quick video on how to tame a horse. Now it's Tame on a horse in Myth of Empires is quite unique and quite fun to do, actually. Um, but it does require you to do a certain amount of things. Now, it's not as simple as creating fodder and a reins and then going for a ride. You need to do a couple of things to make sure that you get that all-important life force in the horse because without it you won't be able to tame it uh you won't be able to breed it you won't be able to train it and you won't be able to resurrect if it dies so i'm going to show you how you do it and make sure you get that all important life force now before you go ahead and tame a horse you're going to need three items you're going to need a saddle you're going to need some reins and you're going to need some coarse dry fodder to get that you just go into your inventory you've got to be at least a level 10 in order to get all three and i think it's 15 to tame a horse i can't remember off the top of my head i should have remembered before this video but hey uh, anyway uh so yeah go ahead and craft all them all you're going to need pretty much is back sticks or branches and coarse hide to craft all three and once you've got all three they'll come up there in your inventory what you need to do is put the reins and the fodder down in your inventory bar like so and then you're going to find your unsuspecting horse. So I know there was a couple of horses around here that look kind of interesting. So let's go see if I can find them. Where did they go? They were here like two minutes ago. I and mean, it's always the same one. When, when you try and create a video, okay, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, okay, so let's try and find these two horses. Now I'm in quite a dangerous area, so I do need to be careful on what I'm doing. Because uh, right here, there's going to be bears, there's going to be wolves, everything. And they have disappeared. Typical. Ah, there's one. Down, down there. Okay, so let's go for a run. And let's go down and get this horse. So, like I said, you need to equip both your reins and your fodder. Now, I've got to be careful I don't drag the horse into there. So, we're going to run over to him. And there we go. There is some horses now these guys 22 i don't want that one there was one there that was 30 plus and i want that one 24 okay just for the sake of this video we're gonna get one of them so obviously because i just ran up to them they get all edgy and they start to run away so all you want to do is get low crouch down stay nice and low and let them calm down a little bit Now, we've got to be careful because there's a, a thing there. There we go. He's he's good. So I'm going to throw the further that way. And there we go. So he rides over. He's, there we go. He's distracted by that. So now you run up to him. Make sure you've got your reins out. And then you mount it. Now, once you've mounted it, you go for a ride. Now, what's really important is that you do some form of controlling of the horse. Okay, you can't just sit there and let it go through. The more you try and control a horse, the more life force the thing is going to gain. Don't get me wrong. Now, as you can see, the rage bar is going up really, really quick. But it means that you are going to get a good life force in the horse which is really really important and of course you want to dodge all the trees and and make sure you don't do anything to upset the horse now once it goes then into rage which it will do very very shortly you need to then control the rage so it's going to be a combination of either left mouse button or right mouse button the game will tell you which one it's going to be and you just need to continuously press them so as you can see at the minute, we're doing all right. We're, we're managing to sneak around. Just try and dodge everything as much as you possibly can. Now, it's going to rage. Okay? It's going to rage very, very soon. But like I said, this means now that we can get a good life force in the horse. Which is really, really quite important. Okay, so there we go. So I'm going to let it go in and off it goes. There we go. Left mouse button, right mouse button, left mouse button, right mouse button. And there we go. Okay. So now we're onto a perf. We're into a good team now. So now I can just let it ride for a little bit. Let the team and meter go up. 
But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to make sure it doesn't go in, into anything stupid like trees. If you can. I'm going to try and take it out of this dangerous area. If I can, will it let me... There you go, I'm just going to let it ride now. So again, we're going to probably encounter another rage, which is absolutely fine. You do this as long as you stay with the horse. If you get kicked off, just let it calm down. And then you can tame it all over again. And do the whole process again. Right, there we go. So ready for it. Left mouse button. Right mouse button. Left mouse button. Right mouse button. And there we go. We've got it. So we just need to let it keep doing that. So I'm now going to just let it ride. Obviously he's trapped there. So I'm going to pull him out of the out of the trap. There we go. And let him ride around again. And there we go. So now we're going into a perfect ranking, which is amazing. We have got the obedience level is higher. The obedience is the taming level. So once that reaches full, you would have then tamed a horse. So I'm just going to let him go for a little bit. Oh, okay. I'll try and keep him on the line this time. Just let him go for a little while. Oh, I don't want to go near there, mate. And there we go. You've got your brand new horse. So I'm just going to call this new team for now. Oh, okay. I'll just call him new. Just for, for now. Okay. And there we go. So we have now got ourselves a level 24 horse now what you want to do then is go in here and as you can see here he's got a 55 quality and a 57.2 rating which is not bad not bad i consider anything over a 50 to be pretty damn good and then of course we've got our hp at 79 our stamina is at 193 that is not too shabby and then the most important thing is looking at this Okay, now obviously the, the less weaknesses or having no weaknesses is, is brilliant, but sometimes you kind of do it. Uh, okay, so it's a bit clumsy. It's a bit like me again. Um, and there we go. So obviously it goes up to level three here. Um, so we've got a level two heavy armor. We've got a level two stamina, which is good. We've got a level one armor per S. Increase stamina one and carry weight one. So that isn't too shabby now once you obtain the horse just chuck in some food it's not their most wanted food but for, for now it will do now the most the best food you can do is try and get some more get some of this if you can get the common fodder you are then all going to be all good in life and you're going to have yourself a horse and there we go so that's pretty much it on taming a horse oh let me show you before we go so here we go so because i was controlling it quite a lot we have ended up there with a life force of 3000 this is really important because when you resurrect the horse that it will use up some of that uh when you breed it it will use some of it when you train it it will use some of it so if that is zero you've got a useless horse you may as well just get rid of it and then leave it go it go about its merry way um but yeah so that's pretty much it about taming a horse uh, i hope you found this video useful if you did please do smash that like button and of course if you didn't hit the dislike button either way um if there are any more guides or videos you want to see on myth of empires do let me know in the comments and i will try my best to put a video together for you but for now thanks for watching bye for now